So these are the prices I paid for the individual components. And I'm going to put on the left the price per component if I was just to make one. So for the diodes cost you 99p and I got 10 of them. They're about 10p each. All in all, this for a fiver I think is an absolute bargain. So once you've got all of the items, uh, what we're going to need to do is start to modify the back plate of the Game Boy. Now, I know this is different to the one I had earlier. This is my uh, the one I showed in the, in the beginning. Uh, what I'm going to do is, because this is the first time I'm doing this, I'm going to practice on this one, simply place that on um, and connect that up. And if that works, I know what to do for this one. I don't really want to particularly ruin this case, this shell. Uh, mainly because it's brand new and uh, also this one was in very rough condition when I got it there is a crack here where the screw is meant to go so to be honest I'm happy to start uh, getting getting rid of bits of plastic of this to, uh, to make the battery fit so it's all going to depend on um, the exact size of the LiPo that you get now this is a 1200 milliamp hour, milliampere hour. Um, it's hard to see because of the high reflection here. They are going to differ in terms of length, width, and thickness. So um, what I would do is I'm going to put the dimensions on the screen so that you know the dimensions of this inner compartment, or the maximum dimensions, i.e. it can't go any further than these side bits. However, in the compartment we've got some separators and bits of plastic that help to keep the double A's apart. Now, obviously they need to come out. So in order to do that, you can use any kind of uh, tool that will get rid of plastic. I'm going to use a um, X-Acto blade that I managed to pick up today. Very hard to find in the UK. I think there was a uh, maybe a ban on these recently. Um, just to cut away some of the plastic, you can use some pliers, some needle, uh, some cutters, sorry, to get those, and that'll be a lot easier than using something like this. Um, or you could even use a Dremel. So obviously, the first thing I need to do is to try and get this to fit. Um, is get rid of these two side bits. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I just need to add in here that um, whilst I was using the Exacto knife, it took a long time. The plastic was really tough. Um, whether that's on the original sort of shell plastics from when it was made um, or even if you're using a, uh, an aftermarket one it's really tough i would honestly recommend getting uh, flush cutters or even a dremel to do this hard work it just took so long um, and it was hard to get the knife in at certain angles to make cuts and um, yeah i'd get some flush cutters it would do the job in not even half the time less than that probably a tenth of the time uh, so it just saves you a lot of effort and a lot of energy um, and frustration trying to get the plastic out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start to prepare the battery, the board and the wiring itself. So I've gone ahead and um, we've snipped off the end for this connector because we just need the cable separate. We don't need the header. Uh, I've got the board um, on the contact pads. Uh, I've just added a bit of solder for when we put on put in the wires. And I've also added some solder to the ends of the wires that we're going to be using. Um, a preliminary test is all I'm going to be doing for now, uh, which means I'm just going to kind of sit it in, close it up, um, and see if it works. And then later on will come the part where we fix the board in a certain position so that when we plug it in, it doesn't move about. Um, that'll either be done with using some double-sided tape or maybe hot glue, um, but we'll get to that stage uh, at another point. So, like I said, I've got these all soldered, kind of up and ready to go. This one's way too long. I've done a kind of a lining up, uh, which I'll kind of show you now. So I'm going to use this this board. I've taken off I've taken off the uh, battery terminals here. And just filled in the solder on the side so the entire pad's covered. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put our new wires there. So I'm going to have it kind of probably sitting uh, this way initially. But I'm just going to see what it's like from this angle. Um, as you can see that fits in perfectly there. So um, we just need that entire. I'll show you the back of the case where I've put it. Um, I've gone ahead and with some... Um, plastic kind of cutters because the the exacto knife were too way too long and um, just completely remove that entire back piece 
okay so just gonna start to eyeball this off now ideally this would kind of sit like this um, with the port towards where the battery will be uh, the battery cover will be so I say um, and we'd have the wires hooked up accordingly these are a little bit short so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is having it this way and then have the wires jump over to uh, there now actually I'm gonna end up doing it this way around because then I'll have the wires coming into the board and then back out the board and there's no wires around this end for when I want to plug the charger in. So this can kind of sit up and come free uh, for when I want to charge the battery. So what I'm going to do is get this laid out as to how it should be. So according to the board, uh, the red is the positive, so that goes to the positive terminal there, and the black is the negative, so that goes to the, black, uh, the negative terminal there on the inner two. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I've got the battery hooked up to the board. And let's just get these in position. So it's probably going to sit in the uh, console just like this, really. And then I'm going to have the other wires linking to the terminals in the battery. And that way, when I want to charge it, I just take the cover off and I just plug it in. Um, and I can charge it that way. So not ideal at the moment. Obviously, at some point, I'd want to get this uh, kind of rotated 90 degrees and then affix it to maybe the underside of the battery to, uh, cover. Um, but that's uh, kind of a future project at the moment. I want to get this done as a concept, as an idea for now. So again, this is way too long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. Um, the diode is wired, is soldered in the wire um, so that the... The flow of electricity is going to be going along this way. Uh, so this end is going to be soldered into the positive terminal. Um, and then this end is soldered into the positive terminal on the board. So they're out. Um, like I said, it's, it's way too long. And also I need to put some electrical tape around the diode to stop it touching and shorting with anything else. Okay, that'll do doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to stop it from maybe resting on any pins uh, and causing a short or worse. Uh, and like I said, this end's too long now and obviously uh, when I did it, this was where the um, the stripe around the diode was. So I know this end's gonna be attached to here. So I'm gonna trim this end down so it's kind of nice and flush with that part of the board, so. Okay, so now um, I've got the two wires hooked up to terminals on the console. We need to then hook those up to this, the board uh, that's attached to our battery. So obviously, again, uh, look at where the cables um, and the positive and negative are marked. Um, it's pretty easy to, to follow. You're not going to cross them over, so it's not going to go black, red, black, red. It's going to go red, red, black, black, or black, black, red, red. So... Um, Pretty straightforward, simple enough. We're going to go ahead and kind of set this in position as it would in the console and then just have a look at how we're doing for uh, room. So to be honest, again, quite a lot of cable, a lot of wire spare, um, but that's fine for now. Okay, so the solder does like to try and drop out the back of this board. Maybe I've got too much on, but anyway, um, that is pretty much all the soldering done. Uh, now it's just a case of testing the board to see if it will power on. Now it's currently on the in the on position, which was never a good idea to start with. Um, let's go ahead and see if we get any sound. Let's see if the sound volume is all the way up. 
Okay, so I, I did hear it turn on then. I'm just going to flip it over so you can see um, if there's the power LED. Okay, sorry, that was completely off screen. Let's do it again. Um, the volume is all the way up, but however, it's very quiet, so. There we go, turns on and it's uh, booted up fine. So all that's left to do now is kind of get this housed in to the uh, shell um, properly. So let's kind of get it all ready. So trying to squeeze it in, uh, the positive wire had come completely off <laughs> the, uh, the key off the board there. Uh, so what I'm trying to do now is, like I said, this excessive wiring really does uh, need to be trimmed down. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on. And this is a complete mishmash of colours and shells. But um, I am missing the shield in there, so I'll go back in and add that in at a later date. It's a very Frankenstein looking uh, Game Boy Advance that I have here. Uh, some of these screws in the aftermarket shell uh, for some reason just continually kind of screw along the thread but anyway um, obviously there's no there's no double A's in this in this console so let's turn it on okay obviously I don't have a game in but that's fine I'm just going to test to see if things working I think it might be a little bit tight on that top left one because that shoulder button is not releasing Which one was it? Left one. There we go. So that is pretty much how you rechargeable battery mod your Game Boy Advance. So if I turn this off now, so it's off. Yep. And grab a micro USB port. Okay, so this isn't exactly the same, but I've got a uh, God, I don't know what um, uh, what kind of battery size this is. It's a big one. I know it can charge an iPhone four times, so there's plenty of juice in this. Go ahead and turn it on. So hopefully I get this connected quick enough before it doesn't detect anything. So like I said, we need to have this board kind of fixed. So it's plugged in. Um, let's zoom right in here. You can see red lights come on for charging so that is now charging the the bat the internal battery um, and you can also turn it on and play it and switch it on yeah so my power port my power switch seems a little bit dodgy but anyway um, it's charging you can play and charge at the same time obviously I wouldn't with this kind of setup with the wires hanging out at the back uh, like they are there but obviously if you had it built in to the bottom and it was a fixed then you could go ahead and play and charge at the same time. 